Hey, it's Katie from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm reviewing the Bedjet Climate Comfort System. I want to start off by giving you an overview of the Bedjet and some of um, just show you the components and how to put it together first. The Bedjet actually started as a Kickstarter program and they were also featured on an episode of Shark Tank, so you may have heard of them before. But the Climate Comfort System is basically this base unit that blows hot or cool air onto your bed. So down here are all the pieces for um, the version two. There's version one and version two of Bedjet. You're gonna get this base unit right here. And it's connected to this fabric hose and the air delivery nozzle. You connect it to your bed by taking this piece and inserting it into your mattress. And they have some extensions if you have a taller mattress. You just connect the hose right here Put the air delivery nozzle on top and just let it rest right here on the edge of your bed and then it's going to blow that hot air out. So another thing that you can buy, which I highly recommend, is this air comforter that they sell. And basically the air comforter is like an empty duvet cover or an empty com comforter that has these openings all around the edges of the bed. So the bed jet doesn't have to sit right here, it can be over there or wherever you want it to, to start. But you're going to close all of these little openings they have except for one and put that around the bed jet like this, around this air nozzle, slide it down, and then the air is going to blow directly into this comforter as opposed to blowing on your feet. So you're not going to feel any direct air. Um, this is optional. Again, you don't have to have it, but it's something that I got with it and I really enjoyed it. So the last thing is that there is a 30 page user manual that looks daunting. I would recommend you read it just because there's a lot of details and then you can operate everything either through a smartphone app or a remote. So you can control the temperature and the airflow of the air that comes into your air comforter or onto your bed. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it goes into the air comforter. I'm gonna hit turbo heat on my remote. And you can see it start to inflate. So one other feature of the second version of this bed jet is that it has something called sleep inducing biorhythm temperature technology. That's a mouthful, but basically it's got this program on the app that you can download for free that pairs with your bed jet. And you can basically set yourself up for different temperatures and different air flows all night long. And this is the idea is to work with your natural sleep cycle so that you're getting and staying comfortable all night long. So I just wanna make sure I pointed this out. This comes with the second version of the bed jet. So there's several pros to the bed jet. Um, first of all, I thought it was a creative solution for a problem that a lot of people are trying to fix right now. Um, although the 30 page manual does seem daunting and I do encourage you to read it, the setup was actually really easy. Hopefully you felt the same from my demonstration. Um, and I really enjoyed using it with the air comforter, which I'd also recommend you purchasing. It was so easy to control the airflow, the temperature. Um, I think there's so many different reasons to use it, aside for people who just like have night sweats or sleep cold in general. I think if you're pregnant or if like I had a fever and I needed to kind of help ease my symptoms so I was turning it on hot and cold whenever I had the chills. All of those reasons, it's like so versatile. Um, I also love that they make an option where they will half this comforter and split it so you can have two bed jets coming in the same bed and people who have a partner who sleeps differently from them can have a great experience as well. As for the cons of the bed jet, um, it's going to take you a second to figure out what works for you. I do um, think that I would recommend getting the air comforter and letting that air inflate in the comforter because if you just have this straight onto your bed sheet, you're going to feel that air hitting your feet, which can be distracting. Another thing is that, you know, it is a, a unit, it is um, a system, so it does have sound. It's got a fan in there and other components, so it's going to make a little bit of noise. If you're someone who doesn't like noise or you're woken up easily by it, the, change, the settings will change overnight if you set it that way, so that may disturb you. Just something to think about. Um, and the other thing really is just the cost. There are products out there that are intended to keep you cool or warm at night. They usually have pieces of bedding that have phase change material in them, and those are gonna be a little bit more affordable, a little bit cheaper, and they're both tackling the same thing. This is a bigger machine, it has more components, and it definitely costs a little bit more. So overall, I'm totally on board with the bed jet. I think it's really creative and innovative. I really would highly recommend being this air comforter with it. 
so that you can have the air blowing inside the comforter and keeping you cool or hot at night. I found so many reasons to use it and I love that I can control all the aspects of it including the temperature and again the airflow, how long it was on, if it changed um, at night, you know, to help me fall asleep by keeping my feet warm and then keeping it cooler at night. All of those things made it so cool and innovative and I think worth the price as well. I got way more details and more photos up on mattressclarity.com so please be sure to check out the written review and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.